Welcome to the first episode of The Signal, where we go on this journey that I call filmmaking together. Now, the goal is not to just give you an insight into making movies. There's, there's plenty of that on the web. What I want to try to do is, is get you guys involved in the process as, as much as I can. Let you comment on scripts and ideas, maybe even voting down a script that we come up with. You don't want to see it, we won't do it. This whole thing is new to me and is uh, something I'm not very comfortable with. And I would like to get better at being able to connect with people on YouTube who like films. This is not going to be Casey Neistat. This is not going to be Philip DeFranco. This is not going to be the Vlog Brothers. This is not going to be sketch comedy. What I intend to make here are films. You can see by the, the color of some of the things that I've made, like Milkshake with Ned Fulmer, uh, who's from the Try Guys. You'll get a sense of the kind of stuff that I make with my team and my, my friends. And it's going to be very much not your standard fare. So I want you to let me know what you want to see down in the comments below based on the kind of stuff that you see me make already. A little bit about what I do in real life. I am a producer, director, writer. At the moment, I produce for the Travel Channel, a cool show called The Dead Files. So I don't get to release as much as I like, which is one of the reasons why I'm making this. I want to be able to have a conversation with you guys. I'm hoping that through this, we can work together and we can have more of a dialogue and talk about ideas, the ideas that interest me when it comes to film, so the first thing I want to talk about is the state of things with Distant Signal. Uh, right now we are in the process of editing the third episode of Dollar for Dollar. It's a docu-series about two guys who travel across Nepal on a dollar a day each. It's uh, based off the remnants of a TV pilot that I went to go do sound for 10 years ago, uh, traveling across Nepal and Thailand. The show never made it to air, never able to sell it. Last year I approached Daniel and Brett after about 10 years of trying to make the show and pitched them the idea of putting it on my channel, Distant Signal. I thought that I could bring a unique voice to it. So check out episodes one and two of Dollar for Dollar here. Um, I'm hoping that the next episode will be out probably sometime mid-April at the current pace that we're going at. Quick segment that I want to do with you guys today is Laugh at the Haters. We're going to go check out some comments and laugh at the absurd, angry, mean things that people like to say about some of the videos that I've made. Let's do it about episode one of Darkness Calls. I really did not like this. No thumbs up, no thumbs down. God, just apathy. He did not give a crap. I mean, what do you say to that? Lame. Just a quick critique. The person who made this film needs to completely lose the narration and show what he's narrating visually in the film. A caption at the beginning and in different segments may be helpful. See an episode of Paranormal Witness. Include the characters with lines. Hope this helps. Thanks, Lydia Bobo Art Design. Thanks for sharing, Lazy. Always looking for new approaches to this genre of scary storytelling. They have a decent idea, but it's poorly executed. Poorly executed? Jesus. The constant sound effects, very loud. Anyone agree? Take away from the story, which, at its core, is very run-of-the-mill. Love the concept, but the story was a bit boring. You hear something, see a guy, he runs away, the end. Hope the next one has a lot more to it. But great idea, and really enjoyed the narrator. Keep it up. Oh, well, thanks, Shinro H. Appreciate that. That's uh, very nice of you. And my personal favorite, LA isn't for everyone, my nigga. I hated this. Immediately came up as one of those pretentious indie films. Yes, John, that's exactly what it is. That was shit. So boring, sad face. That's on Lazy Masquerade's channel. Great guy, love his channel. If you like scary videos, his is the channel to check out. Now that's all in good fun. I welcome your feedback. I thank all of them for their feedback, even the negative ones. And some of those comments are actually quite fair. One thing I like about other people's vlogs is the ability to recommend things to other people, especially other filmmakers or people interested in aspects of film. And I think to that end, I want to start a segment where I recommend certain things to you as well. And to start that off, I want to recommend two channels. First, today is Pulse 8. It's been my favorite channel for the last couple of weeks. If you really like chill music, that's the place to go check out. Love, love, love their playlists. And in the future, my music recommendations are going to lean more towards music that you can find for free that you can use as filmmakers. And next, I want to recommend the Free Music Archive. If you make movies like I do, finding good quality free music is very difficult. And I have relied on Free Music Archive time and time again to find something I can use online that's not going to get me sued by somebody. Check them out. Links below. They have a channel on YouTube and you can just listen to whatever they got. I use them all the time. And in the future, I'll recommend tracks from Free Music Archive or free to use on your videos because the search engine 
on YouTube is not great for music, and I don't always like their selection. So I like to go find independent artists that I can, that are Creative Commons, and I think if you're like me and you make videos, I think that would be really helpful. So, so now to the point of this particular video and why I need your help. The next project I want to do is called YouTube Surgeons, and I want to take the concept of uh, people who use YouTube for do-it-yourself projects and comment on the fact that whenever someone gets a DIY video, they're all of a sudden experts and they can do anything. And in this particular video, three dirty cops have to extract a bullet using a YouTube video. And a lot of the humor comes from not only the absurd situation of three guys trying to use YouTube to do something very dangerous, but also the annoying parts of YouTube that we all suffer through, like ads and clickbaity titles. <laughs> At the risk of this being a bad idea, I want your feedback on the script. I really want to make a story that you guys think will be fun and interesting. So after you take a look at the script, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Things that you think might make it better, things you think that, the, that are currently in the script that are making it worse. Uh, any way to speed it up would be great. Anything that makes it more interesting for you, the audience. I want to know. As always, if you have any suggestions or if there's something you want to get off your chest about anything I've said here today, feel free to leave me comments below in the section down here. Anybody, any voice is welcome, except for Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat can take his <laughs> and anything he's going to plan on making for dinner tonight, and he can take an <laughs> bit that he probably <laughs> dinner with all the time, and you know, he can <laughs> and you know, I just think that the comments below are, are really for people that are not him, because you know, he likes to go on these through lots of big and does all this that I, I really find objectionable. Thanks for watching the first episode of The Signal, and we'll be back at you every other week. Have fun out there. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.